Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm Niklas, I'm CEO and co-founder in Proven. We're a food supply chain operating system. So I will start off with giving you a, a strong memory from the now past eight years that I've been working closely between farmers, uh, commodity buyers like co-ops, food industries and mills. Uh, so in my previous company, I spent countless of hours with farmers, uh, on the phone with farmers. Um, and specifically one afternoon, I was on the phone with one farmer and I was telling him that he could earn another 5,000 euros if he would consider selling his grain to another buyer. And I remember his, his reply quite clear, clearly because he said to me, Niklas, you know what? I have 200 problems and you just now gave me my 201st one. So I was astonished but not really surprised actually because I mean, uh, I, I effectively asked this farmer that he will sort of like not go away from his core operations and also then focus on something else that it was not core of his business. And this farmer is not unique, right? There's a lot of farmers out there that are acting in similar behavior. Uh, and if you're going to create large scale change in this industry, we need to impact the core operations. The core operations of a farmer, the core operations of a mill, the core operations of a co-op and the core operations of a, of a food brand. And this is exactly what we do at Improving. So we enable these companies that are along the supply chains of wheat or barley or rye, etc., to start making an impact and making sustainability part of their core operations. Uh, and today I will actually show you how we at Improving are doing this here in Finland in a demo. So uh, we provide our agri-food uh, companies with a software layer that would integrate with their core operations. This will enable them to connect sustainability values really closely to their source product. If we look at, a, at one of our core customers like a miller or a processor, they would have more than 70% of their emissions at field level with the farmer and they would have customers wanting to desperately reduce their emissions towards a 2030 goal. Most of them would like to reduce 30% of their emissions by that time. And this puts the supplier in a position that they can be the enabler in this change. Uh, but what is the real challenge here then? And I think it's, it's, this is to get to accurate reductions and get that at scale, it's really a, a, a problem of uh, collecting massive amounts of primary data from farmers. But this also fuels a lot of frustration at both supplier level and also at farm level with initiatives coming from the side. So how do we actually bridge this? At Improving, we have built a, a solution tailored for the agri-food industry for these commodities so they can measure and collect data at scale without putting too much burden on the farmers. They can quantify sustainable insights and they can push these for values forward in the value chain so they can drive impact along the supply chain. We are today humble and proud to be working with some of the Europe, Europe's largest food brands and processors and co-ops out here covering more than 40,000 supplying farmers. But now, we're in Finland, right? So I'm going to give you a Finnish example. So uh, we're working with several Finnish customers to date. Uh, actually, we're in working with customers sourcing more than 1 million tons of grains. That is corresponding to a quarter of the full production here in Finland. Meaning that, so we're actually processing data in our system that is impacting a quarter of the food that you, produce, that, that you consume here in Finland, that would be the oats, the cereals, the bread, and so forth, right? Uh, Hankia is the, is the largest co-op here in Finland. They named their platform Puntery, which we are empowering them with. They've invited their farmer to, to do reporting for the first time. Uh, and they just sold rye, and they're now declaring a few parameters. So I will show you this. This is the farmer view. They're invited. They just sold rye. And then we will utilize AI models in the background to offload farm reporting burden. So let's see now if we can get this to work. So this basically is a welcome message to the farmer. They will start by declaring their position of their farm. Uh, and then they will be asking if, if they would use a farm management system. So like any kind of system, we will have hundreds of them in Europe where farmer will keep like operational data. This farmer will specifically select a one common one used in Finland. It's called like my farm in Finnish. I will not try to pronounce that. Uh, and yes, and here we will not know what kind of file or format or whatever they would upload here. So we would apply first computer vision to try to read and understand if there was a picture, if it was a PDF or whatever they would upload. And then we would add LLM technology to interpret the data 
to make it structured and, and get, get results out there. So that's what's now happening in the background here. When results are getting back here, we can ask the farmers to then uh, validate these disclosures and the things that we get in. So from now on, the farmer will then be asked soon here to validate a few parameters on his sold rye. So we're starting off with declaring like, is this correct that we've grown on the acreage of 16.83 of hectares, right? And this is the combination of satellite technology, but also the, the LM feature that you just saw. Declaring yield levels that were also pre-modeled on the fields that he's sourcing from. And also fertilizers. And of course, he can like add another one if he didn't you know, remember to put that in this operation, so we can select whatever. But then we can basically help them to, to offload the burden in the reporting. And then we would ask them to do the rates as well. At the last step, we would, would pre-fill the fields that we believe that he'd been growing rye on. So at this step, we would actually pre-select the, the fields that we believe have been growing rye on. And then uh, this customer, or this, this farmer, would actually, he can pick any field. He's still in control. He would actually pick that field now. We would give him a warning that we really believe that this is not rye. But if you say so, we believe you. Um, so stay still in control. And this is basically it. And with this confirmation, we can reach uh, roughly 85% accuracy in the carbon footprint for that source and that sold product. Uh, and it would take less than 15 minutes for this farmer to complete. He also sold peas to the same buyer, but in this case, we'll skip this. Uh, and I will show you soon, like, yes. And here, they can go into much depth depends. So there's a lot of farmers being enrolled into programs, into projects, into multiple ways of engaging with data with their customers. So they can go in on field level, uh, scroll down, send parcel da data towards the customers. But it's really here then the balance where we're balancing the effort for the reporting for the farmer and the accurate accuracy in the insights for the customer. Uh, final off is that the farmer also will gain some insights from the customers that they just sold. So they get some insights into how did I perform with respect to the average of this buyer? How did I perform with respect to the, to the average of this country? Uh, how can I improve my emission statement going forward? This is all what you can see here. On a higher level then, which you will see soon, on, on, the, on our customer side, so that it enables them to filter out low carbon cohorts in the supply chain. Understanding values that are already there, placing them in a low emission cohort, uh, bundling it, verifying it, pushing that forward in the supply chain. So this creates value for the farmer, for the co-op, for the mill, and for the food brands that are desperately wanting to reduce their emissions. So what about the farmers then? Well, 83% says the platform is easy to use. And actually, 92% spend less than 30 minutes on reporting on a yearly basis. And 75% reports more than what is actually needed. So we're on a good, good track, but we've only just begun. So now I'll really show you uh, how we enable agri-food processors and off-takers to scalably measure and collect primary data with minimum burden for the farmer, minimize risk for the farmer, and also unlocking new opportunities and values across the full value chain. And back to the first question again. So at Improving, we build systems that is actually not making sustainability the 201st problem, but actually making it the natural way to operate. Thank you very much.